Okay, there we are. Once again, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, Route 17 South. I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III, commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback. For more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about. Maybe more madness. Who, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Wait, yep. don't stop the swinging. Go let right. swing before Hold you on. ask. Hold on. That's Stabilize right. with your elbow. Okay. Brace. Vertical hold. Vertical you're hold. Swinging. You're swinging. Hold on. I am. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Now. What was I going to ask again? About the mother's milk thing and stuff. Oh, about about the yes, about mother's milk. Um. Swing, though, Jimmy. All right, I have to come to a complete. To no, no, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's, I know, I know, it's a no scientific fact, but I'll ask anyway. I, I wish you would, Jim. Thank you. Is colostrum um, essential to the development of the immune system of a human and all mammals? Uh, yes. It only lasts about a week. So this development of the immune system re, uh, involves mammals, yes or no? It's a no-brainer answer because if it's a mammal, then it, 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 there's, there's mother's milk. I don't think, I think I was formula fed. That's why I have all these allergies. Was I? Do I have all these allergies and sinusitis because I was formula fed? Thank you, Ma. She didn't feel like breastfeeding me. Gee. If I was your mother, I would want to breastfeed your ass. Hey, even ugly babies get breastfed by their ugly mothers. Not this ugly. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're a corker, as my grandfather and used to say. You I are. Ugly. You ain't getting no breath. <laughs> what was it, Rodney Dangerfield? Get your own milk. What did Rodney Dangerfield say? The, the, the doctor, I was so ugly when I was born, the doctor slapped my mother. <laughs> when I was born, the doctor ran and said, I'm so, I'm so sorry. He's just still breathing. Yeah. He said, What did his wife say? Take me somewhere I've never been before. He, said, he took to the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Ba -dum -bum. I was so poor in my neighborhood. The rainbow was in black, black and white. Yeah. All right. At my age, you think more about eating than you do for sex. In fact, we're having a mirror put in over the kitchen table today. <laughs> oh my God! See, his one-liners were much funnier than Henny Youngman's. I mean, they both were good, but he had a lot more than Henny Youngman. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking. That's why he opened up Dangerfields. Oh man. I had a fight with my son the other night. I said, one day you'll have kids of your own. He said, so will you. <laughs> oh, man, that's precious. The other night, my wife and I were in bed sleeping. Our daughter ran in. Mommy, mommy, the house is on fire. She said, quiet, you'll wake your father. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he was, you know, he was really well loved amongst uh, all comedians. Every nobody had a negative thing to say about Rodney Dangerfield. Uh, they loved Buddy him. Buddy did him very, very well before he was a comedian. Yeah, yeah. And his comedy club gave. He used to sleep over at my my uh, girl I knew, not a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. But he used to sleep over at their house. He was good friends with her father. No shit. A big cokehead, big into coke. Duh. <laughs> The great comedian Rodney Dangerfield. Was he heavily into coke? Cocaine? Maybe that's why he twitched so much. No, that was just a long time. Yeah. I tell you, I don't well, know. Robin Williams was definitely. Well, he admitted that. He, he, he knew he was that. 
but he had other issues. True. Um, what do you want to know? Let's see. Um, Jimmy Madonna retarded. Thank you, Andrew Anderson. Put all James P. Madonna down right off the bat. Oh, you're right. Don't dare kid him. You just Where's can't my martini it. when I need you it? You never drank Ooh. martinis. Ooh. Holy crap, look at this thing. Uh, go ahead, what's your question? Hold hey, on. You got a chance. Come on. Come Hold on. on. Is, um, is it... Why do so many... Why are so many women... Why are so... Go ahead. Why are so many... You get fat old. Why, why? Yeah, and then the gravity makes them sag. Yeah. So, so, what's the big deal? Um, is it a, is it a selfish trend today for so many women to rudely ask men about their income? Is it a kind of is it a rude for anyone to ask anyone about their income? Yes. Is it rude That's, for anyone to ask anyone about their income? There you go. Yeah, because it's none of the damn business. Plain and simple. Even my sister agreed with me. That is none of the damn business. I said, go give me more questions. You want to know anything about your mother or anything? Mom's mom's been okay. I not you gone away. No, mom? no, nothing at all. I mean, what could I say? Ask about eighty six year old woman. What do you want to ask? She's improved. Uh, no. Um, let me think. Um, would this whole drama with Michael Cohen get deeper. Well, that's it. Yeah. This whole political deal and legal deal with Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer, is it going to get a lot deeper? Would John? The bottom, the, okay. bottom, the bottom line is, will any of it be illegal? That's the key. There you go. Yes. Because if you do bad shit, whatever, it's not illegal. It's a big deal then. I said yes, it will yeah. be illegal. There you go. They're you say you whittle it down, you narrow it down, and get to the point. Because Mueller got his is getting his hands That's on the recordings. Well, we know that. Go Mueller. ahead. The is Mueller related to the company that makes egg noodles? Mueller's? You're making fun of no, I'm sorry. Like it. When you do that, you don't do that. Okay, I'll ask a better question. Do you like it when Jimmy Madonna tries to be funny with you and make fun? Just a little levity. We don't need levity. We need serious. Okay. Look at, Look at the size of the no. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Madonna, watch out what and how he asks things of you. Oh. Yeah, you settle it down right away? Oh, See, I, I got it. Oh. That's why I stopped you. Stop oh, it. I got a good question. Go ahead. John Gabriel's realty. Would any wrongdoing be exposed? As far as what? Not I legal know. wrongdoing. No, discrimination. I'm sorry. Would John, you know, give me good would John Gabriel Realty be proven guilty of discrimination? Well, you don't. You don't have Gabriel Realty. John Gabriel himself. I've heard nothing but bad about him. Is he a complete and total asshole? Okay. Bam, see? But will restitution take place? As far as what? Is Legal restitution. You don't want to get revenge on him? Well, how? For what? For discriminating against against people on a fixed income. I don't know that he did. What? Eviction. That's eviction. That's not... That's yeah, but I thought... Fixed income and, and oh, no, I'm sorry. Because they didn't pay the rent. I thought... Oh, no, they didn't yes, pay it. Yes, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, you mean, you mean the office that gave you the, the office that gave you the subsidy did not pay the rent? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I got you now. Jordan, where, where are you going with this? No, like, because, because I hate to see bad people get I, away. So, yeah, I do. Okay, go ahead. Next question. Oh, I don't know. What do you want? You come hide me the robot from Get Smart? You're going to everything and keep going on. That's why I try to stop you and say, okay, we understand. Let's continue. You're making me play the ukulele. Let's continue. Well, Let's you, why on. don't you ask something that's on your mind? Am I going to beat and defeat this cancer that's inside of me right now? Oh. Well, so far it's... Do I have anything to worry about concerning my apartment? 
I did ask Bam questions. That's what I mean. I'm not this like dissecting either. Like plus, plus, I have to think of how to properly word it. Maybe. So when no, you say to me, "You word it wrong," I'll shorten it you, down for you and say, "No." Right. What do you mean? I said, "What do you mean?" Well, I, I know you. You have a mastery of the English language see, he, yeah, here you go from here. working with Ray. Shh, shh, shh. No, I give know. Me, give me I, questions. But I know what you told I me in the past. I tried to give it to you. So do you want to know anything about your mother, about your ex? No, you but well, you're know. rushing me. I feel like I'm in New York. We are, in essence. You're in the tri-state area. Yeah, you're like, you're rushing me. You're stressing me out, man. Does your mean Madonna gets stressed out easily? Yeah, because I don't like to be rushed. You get stressed out easy, too. Yeah, so you're living on borrowed time. You are. We all are. <laughs> to be honest, okay? We oh, all are. Um... Will are all, are all of us, all of us, human beings, living on borrowed time? Now you'll think twice next time you use that statement because the answer is we all are living on borrowed time. Would um, William Morrow be able to seek any legal restitution towards John Gabriel? I can tell you probably right now, will I be able to seek any legal restitution or monetary restitution against Gabriel Realty? Whoa. That's all. It's discriminatory against poor people. Well, health well not poor, health, I mean. Health issues. Yes, that too. Yes, that too. And I know between you and Jackie, you, you have access to good lawyers. Where else you want to go? Um, from from William from from William Morrow's you past. In, you and I lean in your future together. I lean. I rather be alone. But you won't be. Let's find no, out. no. I rather be alone. Jimmy would rather, but will he be alone? You know the guy from the Sonic commercial. That's who she reminds me. Her and Ray remind me of the goofball from the Sonic uh, commercials. He's like Ray. He's the other guy. The straight man is cool. Well, he doesn't do much of anything. It's the, the blonde guy who makes a dumbass thing. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what was I going to say? From in the past, uh, William Morrow, by working in Supertech, has a mastery of English grammar. Is that true? Pretty good mastery of English grammar. Well, I could see that. You're a you do. Uh, I've written some dynamite things That's on good. Twitter. Well, just give me yes or no. Do no, you want I'm, to see if you do. I'm a blogger. I'm, I'm a writer. Do you want to see if you do? Oh, okay, go ask it. Ah, three times to get you a yes or a no. Well, it likes you. I know it's going to say. Does Madonna have a mastery of the English language? Well, mastery is a serious word. I, n I don't think I have a mastery. You're dissecting everything again. What was that man well, the, the Madonna overly dissect every answer. But that's a man of science, does it? Yes, you do. A man of science always analyzes and yeah, dissects. Is Madonna making an excuse by saying it's a man of science that analyzes everything? Jimmy. Well, you 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 scoff at genetic ge, non genetically I, modified organic food, I said, and I, you're wrong. I don't know. I said let's find out for sure. Right, but oh, you're right okay. about you're right about one thing. But you're, you do, I say. But listen, go but listen, on, listen. On. Oh, no, I've been, no, I've been proved quite a bit I on the. I wish was here for you. So. I've been uh, good with the on and on. Oh, um, you know, well, I agree with you about the fraud. You know, nutrition let's, fraud. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Am I a germaphobe? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Is he overly concerned about germs? All right, you got me. You got me. Can this be considered anal? There you go. The way I cleaned our table off, just with the napkins and water, was that simply sufficient enough? 
<laughs> Does Jimmy Madonna carry it too, too far? Is it true that strangers can have many diseases in, uh, on them? Why do you say strangers? Any I don't know that guy that was here. Any human being. Any human you being. Strangers. I mean, you're a stranger. I knew you. I, mean, you know, I don't know. If you didn't, yeah, it's true. That's true. Any human being. But a English well, language. Do, uh, every human carries good and bad bacteria. Well, we, That's we, an we don't necessarily know who has what. Oh, no. Nobody does. Like the bottle of vitamins when you told me. Is Jimmy Madonna overly concerned about bacteria? <clears throat> oh, wouldn't that be a kick in the head if uh, Eileen with her horse shack came in any second? Her horse shack? Her horse shack. Laugh. Her laugh. I got a teacher to get the speech crowd here. Man. Horse shack laugh. With her weird laugh. Yeah. Well, I abbreviated it. Like, like the way you... friend and her acquaintance Eileen, the girl here at McDonald's. Does she have an extremely odd laugh? <laughs> See how simple it is? Right to the point question, Sam. You, you know, you by by rushing life, you create free radicals in your body, which <coughs> accelerates aging. You're accelerating your aging, is sir. It's good that I get exactly and right to the point. Maybe that's anal. Jimmy wants Jimmy Madonna wants to know if you're anal. Are you? No, not that. You said maybe that's anal. No, I said maybe what you are into is anal too. About, you know, less talk and rush everything. You, know, you never know. I like people to get right to the point. I don't like small talk and people to drag things out. Am I wrong? You like Larry David, he's like that. I heard. Is it best to get straight and right to the point? Just well, I am very happy about your test results. They were very good. And I am also I am also happy that the amulet feels that you stand a good chance of getting some restitution from the evil John Gabriel. Because so, so, he's, he's not too far away from he's an the guy you had that the the one you dealt with in Ridgewood. He's no, not too far. To die. Yeah, go. I mean I mean it's uh, to just go. To discriminate, to, to discriminate against a person with just, with health health they issues. Care about money at that age. First, first of all, you're a senior. Second of all, you have health issues. I Th know. Third, I know. you live in on a fixed well, income. Let's go. You, you fixed income. About a lot. Oh, okay. No, because I want to find. I'm trying know, to find out how you got into this mess. I go through so much of it. I just don't. I, I, my good friend Matt doesn't even know I'm in the hotel. Oh, okay. I don't feel like talking about it. All right. Oh. I'm going on and on about it. I'm like, oh, I don't want to hear anymore. Yeah. I've done enough talk. Yeah. Oh, how was the beer, by the way? I haven't had it. Absolute rude. Fool. There you go. Oh, he's incredible. Let him be incredible. He's free. La Fortaleza. I don't blame you. You gotta get when you go home. You gotta get ripped. What do you What do you drink? Class. She goes to school. Class tonight. Where? Oh my God. And then. And then you gotta be here in the morning. Is that true? That, that's very difficult. You know what? Um, acupressure, reflexology, in Swedish. Acupressure is very good. Reflexology. You know the, do the Dollar Tree has the massage uh, tool with the balls on the end. No good. It's only a dollar. No, it works. No, it's, it's, it, you grab it and it has the ballies on the end. 
<laughs> no, I don't blame you. <laughs> Bye. That's why you don't get liniment. You don't touch your eyes with uh, liniment. Yeah, what do you want to know? Oh, you you were getting into the Joseph thing. Oh, well, no, I asked one question. Yeah, I okay. Nah, I, I have really... <sighs> Nothing else to... Um... You mean Madonna has a gift of gab? You want to know that? Because you do. I can, I can answer that. But you just want to hear yeah, but what do you want me to, If I just sat here and stared at you without no, talking, quick, you would think I'm gay. No, if you heard, if you heard how we you would think I'm gay. discussing back and forth trading banter about subjects and what yeah. we do. Yeah, but this guy's an idiot. How can you like this guy? Yeah, you don't like CNN? Oh. What do you like, Fox? Or you, what, you're crazy. Um... Something was, I'm trying to think, something was said on CNN that, um, you know, you know what the problem is with CNN? Sometimes a, a person would play devil's advocate and try to give the Trump administration and Republicans some benefit of the doubt. CNN, they present both sides. Yeah. Even though CNN, they're... CNN, 24-hour news network as perfectly unbiased as they come. Do they always present both sides of the discussion and or argument? See, that's what I told you. And then they let the public decide, I guess. Oh, well, what else can you do? You present both sides. What else are you going to do? Yeah. You see, that's the point. They're right to the point. Watch it. Bam. Do they, do they present both sides? They always have a Democrat and a Republican. They always have this. They always have yeah. that. The only, the only difference is the ideology of the Republicans is but to, they both sides. to work for the rich. It and that's doesn't it. matter. The Democrats are there to rebuke it, too. Yeah. Well, that, that's... Is, all, is yeah. Fox News really a news network? Yeah. I've always told you it was not to. This is probably satire. Political satire, man. I've always told you it's a communist network. I told people they don't listen. Now, there's a difference between communism and fascism. I don't care. But this there is. The point. No, no. Only one Webster's Dictionary. If you read the political definition. You know I mean? you no, because if you were a man of intellect, you would respect the dictionary. Ah, let's just get to the point. What else you know about CNN or whatever? I got you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you were trying to dissect and go on. Because, because the, the, the political know. definitions are important. To a point. It's all communistic when you come down to it. If it's, you know, you know the rednecks say, uh, you call everything commie? C pinko commie, this, that, and the other thing? Do the, in America, do the rednecks, the hate groups, such as the Klan, neo-Nazis, and the whole bit, do they make any sense whatsoever? And the NRA. <laughs> Well, a lot of things they say are right. I think every but, people should be on. But right. Why disarm the good people? But Obama why never. You, why should you ever be? This is what we're talking about. Why should you be defenseless? We sit here with this. We're sitting here. Yeah. A moron comes running in with a gun shooting. Everybody's screaming and running and being shot. We run too? Or would you rather we all have guns and say, fuck you, bam. It was a you're right. Well, you'll disfuse the situation. I said, why, I said, why do you want me or you, why do you want us to be defenseless? And nobody can argue. That's what we talk about. Right to the point. Why do you want us to be defenseless? We don't die sick and go to, why do you want us to be defenseless? It doesn't make sense. You see, get to the point. Is it true that Barack Obama never took anyone's guns away? The rednecks are paranoid. The right wingers are paranoid that Democrats will take their guns away. Is that true? May I? I got a question. Okay. Yeah. Should the good, honest people of America be armed and able to defend them, themselves and others? Uh, yeah, do, and do background checks. Besides the point. The point is, if you take guns away from the good, yeah, yeah the gangs are all going to line up and say, here are our guns. Is it true that the criminal element 
gets their firearms from the black market. Big, yeah. Went into a big yes. So gun laws wouldn't really take guns away from the bad Jimmy, guys. Let me interrupt right now. Years ago, do you remember the buyback in New York? Yep. What'd you get? What was the fee? I don't remember, but it, you put two hundred dollars for any gun you turn in. Young kids were going with twenty-five dollar Saturday night special. That could have been a set-up sting operation. Young kids were going in with twenty-five dollar Saturday night specials, getting two hundred dollars, and going on buying a better gun. That's the point. From the back of a truck of up in the black market. <laughs> well, then you get my bam. See, so yeah. we're right to the point. You're getting a better gun. You're paying them to get a better weapon. You're paying them to arm themselves. This is insanity. What about the, Christ the Christmas turkeys full of homeless in Patterson? Oh yeah, that really solves the poverty problem. Now, what did you know about that? Explain that. Do you know what it meant? It, photo op for politician. Oh, they're giving the homeless frozen turkeys for Christmas. Where are they gonna cook it? You're homeless. Where are you gonna cook it? They found the homeless around the corner, turning in their frozen turkey to drug dealers for drugs. You see the point? This is the government and how they think, don't think. Government program, yeah, like like uh, cash assistance and welfare is only $140 a month in New Jersey. How you live on $140 yeah, I mean, a month? A frozen turkey and more money for a better gun. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. That's insane. That's insane. And, and, and for Medicaid, they think over $1,000, you you could you could pay for you your own health insurance. New York gun buyback. Is that incredibly ignorant and stupid? See, right to the point. Two hundred dollars for a twenty-five dollar gun. You go in and get three. You spend seventy-five or hundred dollars for four guns. You come out with eight hundred dollars. You can buy a great gun. That's dumb. This do, is insane. Do many government programs for the poor really solve the problems for the poor? Well, they, so what you're saying is some help is better than no help? Sounds like a Republican answer, but no, you're not saying that. Okay. Do you think $140 a month for welfare in New Jersey is absolutely ridiculous? Jimmy. Why are you being so rude Jimmy, with Jimmy. my questions? It's a, a follow-up. God damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus. No, because you... No, stop it. Because you're dissecting. I, I'm getting points and points and points. No, I, mine was short. My question was short. So what was going to ask now? Oh, the last it's question. It's a $140 welfare thing, and I was saying... Is even a $15 minimum wage total bullshit? That's what I want to know. I even if even if it was tax free, it's still bullshit, isn't it? You see, see the points I'm trying to make? Yeah, but I have my own questions because this. Yeah, you gotta get because, to, no, the point because is, I, I choose to even, ask the I, questions. Even, yeah, but you take a while. If you, even if you get a forty-hour week. No, I, I can't. I can't ask uh, 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 thirty second, uh, twenty second Jimmy, questions. I can't do that. Even if you get a forty-hour work week, at fifteen dollars an hour on tax, that's just six hundred dollars a week. I, you can't pay a rent with that. No, you're right. That's my point. I was getting to. You're right. Well, you asked it. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do before I forgot it. Because you were going on. What did you want to ask? I'm not asking anymore. Because uh, I, I I have no you know no, no freedom to express myself the way but, I want. But make your questions quick. Cause that's the why? best way. Because it gets right to the point. I I why, well, Jimmy, I let did. me ask you why drag them out, right? But but I, there's more information attached to the sentence. I, I don't know. Oh, no. is it is it best to that your question? You know what? Be... You know what? Amulet. Fuck you. Oh, see, Jimmy, no. You know, I'm done. I'm done with the amulet. You know what? All right. I'm done. You you ask all the questions. Is it best to get right I to the I don't point? like to be censored. I don't like to be censored. This is the United States First Amendment. No, it's I not anymore. No, you don't have rights. I, you know, I mean, I don't like censorship. I, I'm a Leo. I'm independent. Nobody's ever told me what Jimmy, to do in my life. It's not censorship. It's called getting just to the point real quick. 
because other people will forget the questions that keep going on. You know, and you lived in Texas. You know how laid back people can be and slow. You know? What's that got to do with it? Because they enjoy life, maybe. Maybe they don't. They don't. Maybe. When they, they talk slower, they move, and they well, take their time. Slower, maybe they don't enjoy life. Who knows? Maybe they have the same problems as anybody else. Well, they have Aren't their hospitals filled up with illnesses, too? They have lower mortgages and rents. That's Some true. people in Texas enjoy life more than others. <clears throat> no. So they, they have the same problems as everyone else. Yes. Did Jimmy just offend you by giving you the finger and saying "fuck you"? I don't like being. I don't like being sensitive. I like to ask the questions I ask. Is Jimmy being censored? Oh, wait, you're not being censored. Wait. Is Jimmy misinterpreting? Yes. Would my friend in San Diego have rescued me from this hell hole I live in? Would he or will he? Would, would have she rescued me from... Jimmy, she's cheating on your phone. Well, that's because of the, the, am, the amulet spin a certain way. She works all the time. She's got three clients. Now you're defending her. Well, I mean, you know, it can't be 100%. So you're defending her. And you said her family treats you like shit? Now no, her sure. family doesn't treat... Maybe no, her family has a lot of issues. Uh, issues. Like shit, too. I mean... Should Jimmy... My friend Jimmy Madonna be with his girl from where? In San Diego. From San Diego? Is she a user? Is she, quote, all there? You still talk to her? Uh, yeah. So you'll never stop bothering her? Well, I mean, uh, we, you know. Oh, what, do way. I have very few options living in this area with the gold diggers that are around? Yes, you do. I do have few options. Um, this area is very materialistic, isn't it? Okay. Are there areas that are not materialistic? Are there areas in the United States that are not, that do not consist of materialistic women? No. So women are, so that, so, so that means they are glorified prostitutes in a sense. Well, you're, you're pretty smart, Amulet. You're very, lo that's very logical. So, um, do men ultimately give these women their power? Uh -huh. Does that have to do with the fact that most men are desperate to get laid? Interesting. Inter Is this why my brother and other people I know let their wives and girlfriends control them? Because they they want to get into their panties. Is, is that basically it? Well, you got to be a desperate bastard for that. So, so these men are giving up who they are just for sex. May I? Yeah, I'm done. I just want to get a swing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it made sense to me. Yeah, I don't know. It made sense to me. Mm -hmm. Is Jimmy foolish for staying in touch with this girl from San Jose? No, San Diego. San Di from San. Is Jimmy Madonna foolish for staying in touch with this girl from San Diego? Is any good going to come out of this? Is any good going to come out of living in New Jersey? <laughs> for you? For me, yeah. For Jimmy Madonna, is any good going to come out for him living in New Jersey?
Alright. Time will tell. Can he keep running? Can he run away from this? Damn fucking right. No. <laughs> oh, you mean if I live somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Running away from the problem. Oh, okay. I hear you. So relocation is not the answer. Running accomplishes nothing. Does it? So that so that means it's a female thing in America or the world to size up a man's income. Yeah, a big yes. Do uh, men also size up a woman's income? Let's go both sides. Of the no, table. men size up their their looks. Nice. Do women? So, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Do men also size up a woman's income and use a woman? The gigolo. I was told there are mo many more gigolos both out there. Sexes, do they both use each other? Here's your result. Give me right to the point. Both sexes are users. That's as simple as it comes. In different forms, I guess. Yeah, both sides, ma'am. You see? Oh, God. You know the good thing is no, that no. that the few in the future, just like extraterrestrials, you will have the privilege of communicating through brain waves and thought. You wouldn't have because you're so anti speaking speech that you know you could like actually brain waves. Well, that's like, why the news you notice when they dissect certain people, they this is a politician who went on and on and on. Well, that's what they do. You shouldn't do that. That's called filibuster. Get to your point, that's what they say. Stop it, get to your point. That's why they sit there and keep talking to delay anything and there's nobody in the Congress, the House of the Congress. You're not gonna get stung eventually. Yeah. Yeah. You ever oh, see C-SPAN, how boring it is? Oh. C-SPAN? Talk about not getting to the point <laughs> on C-SPAN? Mm. Too far too many people just go on and on and on. Does any good good come out of being long winded? So those of you headed to the shore and the just be prepared to just track these stories. If you, um, yeah, if you, um, usually a mastery, a mastery of the English language and grammar, does that help in making your point quickly? Jimmy Lanier answered along that. Yeah. They say often, many times, he's very well spoken. You see, a mastery, very well spoken. Articulation, that's sometimes that. Well spoken, art, well articulated, articulate. same thing. There yeah. you go. That's the point. The articulate person is one that does have a mastery of the English language. Would you want a guy to come up and say, use guys, don't get it. Oh, you mean slang? Yeah, that would not cut it. Get up. to hear somebody, these guys, go ahead. people like, shut up. Get up. I want to hear like somebody like Obama, who was a great orator. He's a very great, you so know, that's, that's what you know, he's, he was a professor, professor in constitutional law. Yeah, I know. You know, and they, and they, they, they bashed him so much when he was in office. My dad always said too, whenever you speak, or even say hi to somebody, say it like you mean. It's right. like the handshake okay. too. Hi. You ever have a, hi. You ever have a, I guess it's like a fish. You ever the see girl, is, yeah, right, the tips, the they give you the tips of the fingers. But, but a woman shakes your hand. The way somebody speaks, speech in general, is incredibly important. Isn't it? There you go. There are very few great speakers or orators out there. Yeah. They get to the point, be a good orator, make your points. That's why they call the PowerPoints, too, or the power presentations. Yeah. And as long as they back everything up with facts, and if they give a presentation. 
Okay. Well, unless you're Trump, he, he, he lies about everything, so it doesn't matter. There's no facts to back what he says. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. He has no facts. He makes up stuff. He's a liar. He, he said something really dumb on Twitter where he said the Russians are going to help the Democrats in this well, November. Well, whatever Trump says, believe me. <laughs> Trump is a moron. Well, let's go. Yeah, Trump's an idiot. If he's... If the Russians are pro-Republican and pro-Trump, no, pro-Trump, I should say, why would they help the Democrats? Trump an absolute idiot and moron. See? Yep. Yep. Bam. Bam. There you go. All right. Oh. You know, you think with all the thunderstorms and rain we've been having, that the humidity would disappear? It doesn't work that way anymore. No. Oh, CNN showed a satellite imaging of the uh, North Pole. Republicans are lying. It's shrinking. Qu we know that. Quite a bit. No, they keep on saying it's it's a, it's a it's it's a lie about global warming. They've got, they've got the film of. Trump's falling off. Everybody knows it's BS. The polar bears are, are emaciated. It's horrible. That's because they're in bed with big oil, probably. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.